guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hello, my name is Maddie, and it is nice to meet you. It would be awesome if you would hit that subscribe button right there or there. Okay, so today's video is going to be a haul, an elf haul to be specific. I went a little crazy because they had a sale, and so I bought a bunch of stuff from elf that is in this box, and we're gonna be opening it today, so let's do this. Okay, so the first thing in the box that I got is the elf oil-free SPF 15 sunscreen flawless finish foundation in the shade natural or as it says on the packaging previously porcelain I don't know I haven't tried a foundation from elf ever and so I wanted to give this one a chance I've heard mixed reviews about it but I thought that I might as well give it a chance and it comes with a pump it feels pretty nice and has a um, frosted kind of glass bottle so that feels pretty luxury but yeah I was wanting to do a full face of elf and so I thought I might as well get the foundation and it comes with 0.68 fluid ounces in the foundation I know that most foundations come with at least an ounce so that's this is less than an ounce all right so the next thing in the box that I got is the elf well everything's elf so I'm gonna stop saying elf okay it was the oil control primer mist mine's cracked Ugh. bummer okay well anyway it looks like this it says that it is alcohol and silicone free it's a water-based primer mist that helps prep your skin for makeup application it's a lightweight formula to reduce shine and oil for a more matte look Ooh, I don't know if I like the spray on that it's not a very fine mist it kind of looks like it shoots all out at once but I don't know we'll try it and see how we like it all right the next thing in the box is the poreless face primer in clear and it looks like this I didn't have any face primers from elf and I've heard that this one's good but then I've also heard it was bad after I purchased it so I don't really know it has a nice little pump um, I don't know it looks pink but it says it's clear so yeah, we'll just, we'll have to try this out on the face and I'll let you guys know. Okay, the next thing in the box is the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. Um, I just saw that they came out with this new brow pencil. It is more like the Anastasia Brow Wiz type pencil rather than their other one that's super like chubby and thick. Um, so it's dual ended. It comes with a spoolie on one side and the other side is the product. You can get more of a precise, um, cleaner, smoother application. And I like the fact that it has the little spoolie on the other end, so that's always nice. So the next thing in the box is the Shimmer Highlighting Powder in the shade Pearl Glow. I have not tried an e.l.f. highlight either, and I saw that these were new and they came up with these recently, and I really wanted to pick one up. Nice, sleek, matte black packaging. And then you open it up and, ooh, you have a nice big mirror there. Hello. And here's the product here. It looks like a nice highlight and we're gonna swatch it Ooh, it's very buttery and very creamy when you swatch it let's see how it, oh my goodness okay so here it is on the skin there it is right there on the skin it seems pretty light okay the next thing in the box is a brush and is from the beautifully precise line and it is the precise tapered highlighting brush so this actually came with the highlighter it was a little kit on sale for like ten dollars or something and so I picked these up real quick because I have one brush from their beautifully precise line and I absolutely love it so I thought that I might like this one as well these are the this is the line with the um, clear handles and this brush is so soft and so oh my goodness it'll be perfect for highlighting the cheekbones and I'm so excited to use this brush all right the next thing in the box is the elf I said I wasn't gonna say that Okay, it is the Volume Plumping Mascara in the shade Black. I haven't tried a mascara from e.l.f. either. Um, it just sounds like I haven't tried a lot of things, which I haven't. But um, I haven't tried a mascara, and I was really intrigued to see how they work because their mascaras are fairly well-priced for the drugstore, and I just wanted to see if this did anything good to my lashes. So this is the applicator right there. It's just a bigger, chunky 
type wand, which I kind of prefer. And it says it's going to volumize and plump my lashes. So let's just hope it does what it says. So I did go kind of ham when I um, purchased this and I bought three of their palettes. I bought all the Mad for Matte eyeshadow palettes. So I have the one in Summer Breeze, the first original Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette, and then the one in Holy Smokes. So I bought, <laughs> yeah, I bought all three of them because I've heard that these are really good eyeshadow palettes and I didn't have them and I just really wanted them and I thought, hey, you know, they're like cheap for a drugstore and e.l.f. makes good products, so why not? We'll do a few swatches really quick. Um, we'll do, oh my goodness, that is so creamy. The pigmentation on these eyeshadows is crazy this one is the most pigmented and then this one this is the black in the palette and this is a gray in the palette this was the least pigmented but it's also pigmented enough to where you're probably not gonna want I don't know you'd rather have a shade that's not super pigmented when you first put it on so that it blends out easier and so that you can build it up rather than you put it on once and then you can't take it away so I understand why the darker shades would look like that but wow that is very impressive Okay, so I don't know where I left off because my camera stopped recording, but here are the swatches of the Holy Smokes palette. And all I can say is Holy Smokes. They are beautiful. Um, this black right here is pretty pigmented for the palette. This blue is to die for. Um, this green, I think it was a green. Did I swatch a green? The green is coming up more of like a gray on the, at least on my hand. Anyway, and then the orange at the bottom is very pigmented and beautiful as well. So I'm pretty impressed with these palettes so far, and I can't wait to put them on my eyes. Alright, so the last two things in the box. We are almost done. And the next thing is the Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold. This looked so pretty online. Here's the packaging right here. Beautiful packaging. Very stunning. And we're going to swatch... Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. That will be very, very pretty and reflective all over the lid. I don't know if you can see it very well, but oh my goodness. It is very, very pink because it's like a rose gold, but it is very, very pretty. And I'm excited to put that all over my eyes. Okay, and the last thing in the box is the Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Champagne Glam. Here is the packaging. Ooh, this is a weird applicator. If you can see, it has like an elongated doe foot applicator right there. Ooh, this is very pretty. It's definitely very sparkly, so if you're not into sparkles, I wouldn't choose this. It is right here. It looks so stinking pretty. And there are little glitters all throughout it. It just looks absolutely stunning. Like, I want to put that on my lips right now. Alright guys, so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you have any suggestions or products that I should try out or anything else, or comments, um, concerns, questions, anything, just leave it down in the comments below and I will be checking those out. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you are having a wonderful day, evening, or night, wherever you are, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!